All right, now that the car is drivable again, I did replace the drive shaft. Um, it is still clunking, so it's definitely something in my suspension. Don't quite know what it is yet, but my sport mode is also not working. If you see here, if I click sport, it, well, actually, let me get rid of this menu thing. Well, it says drive mode change unavailable. I know I did break my ABS sensor, the wheel, wheel speed sensor. So I'm getting that replaced and I've heard that if one sensor is bad, it throws off a bunch of other things. So I'm assuming that's what's causing it from not going to sport mode. I also don't know where the clunking sound's coming from. I'm assuming it's the strut, if not a control arm, but I have the strut coming in this Friday. Um, the control arm, I haven't ordered that yet. I want to see if it's my, my um, I do want to see if it's my strut first. However, putting that aside, we do have the tune installed now. It is Fearable Stage 1.5 with God mode. So it's essentially like TSP, but it does run better from what I've heard. Uh, let's see, right here it has God mode. It has a three-way adjustable power levels, just like TSP. So right here, if you look, the first one, map one is gonna be 19.5 PSI, level two is 22, and level three is gonna be high boost at 25 PSI. There's a bunch of other things to it. Um, it has no lift shift at 5,000 RPMs if that's what you wanna do. I know that deselling from three to 5,000 RPMs, it will backfire. So that's essentially what God mode is. Other than that, let's go ahead and test drive this car, see how it's gonna be. I don't have a phone mount or anything to mount a camera to, so we're gonna be doing it one-handed. We're gonna be driving and shifting with one hand while holding the camera. So let me go ahead and connect a uh, tuner view as well, just so you can see the temps after we do a couple pulls. I can show you the temps and the knock count and everything like that. So let me go ahead and connect this thing. After it connects, we're going to go for our test drive. So my knock count is currently at 49. And let's hope it stays there. 176, so my car is ready to go with the temperature. And let's go ahead and go into reverse. Oh, you can hear the clunking sound, watch. this kid so I don't want to floor it and be loud with it. So that's some of the cracking. There's no one here so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to lift off the throttle at 5,000. Like very loud. I'm countless and muffler delete. So this thing is definitely loud. It has a lot of backfire to it. More than I thought it was going to be. But so far we're averaging 48, 49 still. I'm gonna do a pull here, making a left. But depending on that, that goes after a couple cars pass us, you know? Unfortunately, I can't go into sport mode, so it's gonna be done in regular. The only thing I do notice as well is that once you release the gas to change gears, that it also gives you that extra sound from the intake. So the extra little air, what the hell is that? So 
sorry you guys can't really see my RPM or my cluster in general. The light is shining on it. The sunlight is shining right on it. But as you can see, we did a couple pulls and it's still at 49, 48, temps to 181. So it's not that bad. Uh, but then again, we only did like two, three pulls. So we're going to do another pull right here. We're going to launch it at 2000. So let me hold my camera and my steering wheel real quick. Launched the car and the temps are still doing good. We're at 188, 49 knot control, so everything's fine there. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's all I can say about the, this tune. And let me go ahead and drive it around a little bit longer and give you my initial thoughts on this tune. One thing I did forget to add was that it is 85 degrees outside. So here's all the temps and everything: 185, 49 knot control. Everything's still good. So we're mobbing here. Everything's fine. Again, I have that Christmas light dash because my ABS wheel spe speed sensor is broken. I damaged it when I dropped down the knuckle to replace the drive shaft. So that sensor is broken and I need to replace that one. So until then, sport mode is going to be out of uh, options. So at 3000 RPMs, we're going to release the throttle. And that's on second gear. 4,000. And then 5,000. That's how it sounds. This thing's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little, uh, a little too much, but if you like it, you like it. I definitely enjoy it. I don't know if that's a cop car behind me, but there is. Oh yeah, you can turn it off by pressing cruise control. So once you take, if cruise control's on, that's when God mode will be on. With cruise control off, you won't have that backfires and that spits and everything like that. So I'm chilling there. That's the one thing I like about it too. You could turn it on, turn it off, depending on how you like it. And I could turn mine off, but. Let me uh, drive more and see how I like this thing. Do you hear that? Now I'm a downshift from third to second. That's wild. That's just with the catalyst downpipe and uh, the fearable thing. But anyways, that's that. Um, I definitely like the catalyst downpipe. I didn't want to go catted mainly because for that reason, uh, I didn't want to, you know, burn out my cats and spend for an aftermarket part that's 400. And it actually costs more than the catalyst downpipe. That's with the Catalyst and Fearable God Mode. So I'm on second gear and I'm gonna bring it to like 4,000 RPMs right here, just a second.
That's crazy. All right, guys. So I definitely recommend the tune. Coming from a TSP Stage 1 owner, I do like the tune. The temps definitely are cooler in a way after doing pulls and the knock count did not jump at all it stayed at 49 um it's definitely smoother especially on the top end shifting gears aren't as nifty gritty i don't know, explain it is it as oh jerky it isn't as jerky as the tsp one was um that's pretty much what i could say about it uh aside from that i like how my knock count didn't move at all it stayed at 49 and i'm on just regular pump 91 gas i have no e85 in my car so the temps are definitely good compared to tsp stage one don't get me wrong, I was on TSP Stage 1 for a long time. Now that I switched over to Fearable, I definitely recommend picking Fearable over TSP 1. Then again, it's up to you. It's your car, your rules. You can run whatever tune you'd like to run. That's just me personally. Again, on TSP, I would see my knock go up as high as 70s, especially at night when it's cooler. Um, and I'm just, you know, driving on the freeway and I do a couple pulls, which I did the same thing with Fearable on the highway with it being 85 degrees that i showed you guys and it still still held the knock count to 49 so i'm definitely happy with that happy with the results other than that if you do have a catted downpipe i recommend you not abusing god mode before your catalytic converters actually catalytic converters give up before you want it to so I definitely recommend you going catless um don't take advantage of the god mode if you do have a catted uh, downpipe though Reason why is because you don't want your catalytic downpipe essentially break. So other than that, I definitely recommend Fearable. It is a nice smooth tune. I definitely recommend it. Thank you guys again for watching one of my videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below what tune you're running and how you enjoy your tune. And if you do try out Fearable, let me know in the comments down below how you like it. <laughs>